Hey, welcome everybody. Welcome to my channel again. I'm very grateful. I love you all. Uh, please, I will appreciate those of you that I just seen or viewing this channel for the first time to subscribe to my channel. Just hit the subscribe button and give me a thumb up. Thank you so much. All right, today I'm going to be showing you how to create a free business email with Google. A free business email with Google. And some, at some other time, I'm going to show you how to create your business listing with Google, how you can list your business on Google, such that when people search for your business name on Google, it's pop up and you can actually see people reaching out to you, to you for business um, stuff like that. All right, today, let's get straight here. Please don't forget to subscribe. All right, so create um, a, a free business email with Google, you want to come to the um, Google um, Create page, the registration page. I will leave the uh, link in the description. So just click on Create Account. When you click on Create Account, it asks you if it's for personal use, for your child, or for work or business. So you want to click on For Work or Business. So now it's going to take you to another um, another screen. Okay, so you want to enter your preferred first name. Let's assume if your business is. Okay, never mind about that if your business is for example i'll be using a sample business here my business is um dunes and maybe ventures or enterprise or whatever your business carries okay let's say i'm going to be going with um enterprises okay um you can decide to customize your email here yeah, so i can have three Dion's Enterprises. Okay, this is what I want my email to be. With this, I can actually have an email account that might not be existing already. If I just go direct and use Dion's Enterprise, it's possible that someone already have their email account. So I want to use three. Three signifies something important to me. So you get, so you want to create in your password, whatever your password should can be. You just want to enter anything that you want as your password. So I'm just going to be using a simple password e okay your password have to be a minimum of eight characters and it can be mixtures of letters numbers and symbols so I'm just going to do that here all right I'm done. I don't need to do this so the next thing I want to do is um next I want to click on the next page So it asks me for phone number since i'm creating for business it's always optional so it says recovery email in case you lost your email that is also optional i can decide not to add that um your month of birth you can just fill in anything but um, i can just decide to go through any of these maybe 2007 or whatever i can okay let me just make it um 1878 okay um, your gender you can choose rather not to say since it's for business the business might not be gender um, classified so and for your email you can decide to put any email here as your recovery email it's actually help in recovering your email when you forget your password or that or that so I'm just going to go to the next option and I go to the next page so you can see it's asked if this is my right email address because it sees that this is a very far this year is a very far one so <laughs> you can see i just have to correct that i thought it's just a sample and that's why i have all of that so i can tell you that you're done creating that so you just have to click on this agree option to agree to the google terms and condition and after doing that boom your email is ready no i don't want to use this email for chrome so i just say no thanks so you can see your email is ready. The next thing Google wants to do is to set up business page for you so that when people search for your product on Google, 3D Enterprises, it's just set it up for you. You you have your listing on Google already, but I don't want to do that for now. But if you want to do that, you can just click on continue. If you click on continue, it takes you to the business page where you can create your business. You can see it asks for your business name. So this is the name that will be displayed on Google front page where people can see. So your business name is Dion, uh, 3 Dion's, let's say, um, Enterprises. Okay. Create a business name with this, you can see. So that is set already. So you click on continue. It, it makes your business get discovered on Google. So it's, you, you have to select the type of... Um, a business you are offering is it a local store where people come in to buy or you also offer an online store or a service business and all of that so you click on next 
and that's how you just walk through if you have a website you want to add your website okay if your website is www.whatever.com and you input all of that if you don't have that you just want to skip that at the moment so when you skip that you want to enter your business category what's your business category what type of business do you venture in all right let's say um we venture into commercial product or commercial agent or com a community school or whatever or let me say is an it related business information okay information services you can always change this later you can always change this so let's say um let's say graphic designer so let's go on and select that you want to add your business address all of these if you're not ready for this just like i said you can skip all this section you don't have to go through all of this so you can just skip all of these and that is about that so once you finish setting up all the pages that you have you will see that your business is ready and um, ready to be shown on google front page so once your business is fully set up then you can see it on google and it's available for everybody to view i hope you like this video please do subscribe and like my video and drop your comment in the section below if you want me to drop anything for you thank you i really appreciate i appreciate it so much thank god bless you thank you all